Welcome everyone. Today, I'm taking you to a town that, alongside Dorchester and Shaftesbury, can be counted among the oldest towns in Dorset. It's a place where the River Avon meets the River Stour, just before flowing into the English Channel. This town is famous for having the largest parish church in England, and a unique, diverse key. Welcome to Christchurch. We begin our walk on the bustling High Street, known for its well-preserved Georgian and Victorian architecture, which gives the street its unique character. As the town's hub of commerce and culture, it's filled with shops, cafes and restaurants, and hosts regular events and markets, close to landmarks like Christchurch Priory and the Castle Ruins. High Street draws many tourists. Christchurch Christian Center is a dynamic evangelical church that organizes a variety of programs and events for the local community. It is well known for its charitable activities, both locally and internationally. The center also hosts gatherings for families, youth and seniors, providing a space for building relationships and strengthening community bonds. The legend of the docking stool in Christchurch tells of a medieval device used for public punishment by dunking offenders into the River Avon. It was used for minor offenses like gossiping or cheating, with the punishment carried out in front of townspeople. The docking stool symbolized shame and served as a warning to follow local rules.
front of us is the largest parish church in England, Christ Church Priory, built in a Gothic style with Romanesque elements. The construction of the church began in the 11th century, making it one of the oldest places of worship in the UK. According to local legends, the church got its name after a miracle occurred during construction, when an invisible hand completed the work on a cross. Christ Church Priory combines Gothic and Romanesque architectural styles, making it a unique landmark. Despite the dissolution of the Benedictine monastery in the 16th century, the church has continuously served as a parish church. Today, it is also a venue for cultural events, such as organ concerts and music festivals. Inside the priory, beautiful stained glass windows from the 15th century depict biblical scenes and important Christian figures. The church also features an impressive organ, regularly used for concerts that attract local music lovers. 
Additionally, it holds the tombs of knights like Sir John Chidiock and notable figures such as 17th century preacher John Draper. Quamps is a picturesque park in Christchurch, known for its recreational areas and boat moorings along the River Stour, where various outdoor events take place, including the popular Stompen on the Quamps Music Festival. It attracts jazz enthusiasts and those looking to relax in a scenic environment with beautiful water views. The park also offers opportunities for water sports, making it an ideal spot for active leisure. Place Mill is one of the oldest surviving water mills in England, with its history dating back to the 11th century. Located on the River Avon, the mill was used for grinding grain until the 19th century. Today, it functions as an art gallery and exhibition center, attracting tourists from around the world.
us now head to the area around the Red House Museum, where numerous pictures historic cottages are located, which once served as homes for fishermen and dock workers. Many of them date back to the 19th century and have preserved their original rustic charm, attracting tourists and history enthusiasts. Built from local materials such as bricks and wood, they stand out with their unique regional style. Museum and Gardens is located in a historic 18th century building. It once served as a workhouse for the poor. Inside, visitors can explore collections related to local history, the culture of the Dorset region, and traditional craftsmanship. Surrounding the museum is a beautiful garden designed in a classic English style, which remains a popular spot for visitors seeking peace and relaxation. The 900th anniversary sculpture was created to celebrate the town's 900th anniversary, which took place in 1978. This bronze artwork was designed by sculptor Walter Ritchie, known for creating monumental historical pieces. The sculpture depicts a group of people symbolizing the town's development over the centuries, from medieval times to the modern era.
Strauss and Norman Keep are some of the best preserved examples of Norman architecture in southern England. Built in the 11th and 12th centuries, these structures were designed for defense and served as symbols of power and prestige for local lords. Interestingly, despite numerous wars and changes in ownership, these historic buildings have survived to this day and are now popular tourist attractions. Finally, I'd like to invite you to enjoy a delicious breakfast at one of the restaurants on Castle Street. And once you're satisfied, please take a moment to look at a few photos of this ancient town called Christchurch. See you soon.